The other thing that could be useful sometimes is the pre-built templates. So if you click on the plus and you go to templates, there's got loads of different templates, which is basically somebody self a whiteboard for you. So it saves you start from scratch. So things I've used in the past are things like um, a cost benefit analysis in strategy. If I was looking at a piece of software or looking at something we might want to do where we're trying to weigh up, is it a good thing or not? Um, as a teacher, there is a learning section. Um, I'll be honest, personally, the only one I've used out of all of these is the exit ticket. So there are there are a load in there and they keep adding to them, but the exit ticket works quite well because it's just so quick. So if you had a collaborative whiteboard with your students um, or you make one and quickly share it so they get a link in their email, I've made a collaboration video that you can look at for how to do that. Then you get effectively an exit ticket like this. Now, I think this works quite well because it's it applies to anything. So it's got here things I learned today, things I found interesting, things I still have questions about. I think this doesn't take any extra modification to make it work for your subject. I think this is OK. I think it allows you to capture lots of very useful information, but it comes down to have the students got a device that they could use to interact with this. If your students are allowed phones in the lesson, that would work. When you share it, you can share it in a matter of seconds with all the kids in the class and they'll all get an email with a link straight to this exit ticket. So it does work very well and very fast. And you could ask every student to add somewhere between one and three post-its. It's going to give you some really valuable information to reflect on to help for the planning of the next lesson. Now, that is just one example. There are loads of others, but I'm, I'm just going through and being honest with the ones I've used. But there are lots that are in the learning section, which are most useful for teachers. But also bear in mind, lots of you are in different meetings and you might find this useful in the other areas and the other templates as well.